So what's up guys, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. So today we are going to be drawing Spider-Man mixed with Captain America. So like, what would you call him? Spider-America? Or Captain Spider? So this is definitely a fan art. I, I couldn't find the person's name, but I think it's like a Photoshop sort of thing. It's pretty cool, I found it on Instagram, so. But it wasn't linked with their account, so if you know who it is, let me know. It's deadly anyway. Landscape page, use a pencil and eraser, and hit pause if I go too fast, right? We're gonna start with his eyes. So center point of my page is about here, come up. If you want, you can draw the head first if you like doing that, and then get the eyes in, but I like to start with the eyes and go around them. So, just here, right? We're gonna do this little sort of arrow, sort of pointing in that way. And then the same on this side, just to get the two eyes right beside each other, right? <clears throat> so out from here then we get the top line for the for the eye and it curves up and then spikes out at the top take it slow because they are tricky to draw right like that right you do pretty much the same thing on the other side now his head might be slightly turned so it'll, don't worry if the eyes aren't exactly the same Okay, so then come down around and we're gonna go back into this point up here, right? So it's a particular kind of shape. So go down, we start with our spike there and then it curves all the way. Down, back up. Okay, kind of like that. Right, and then on the other side, same sort of thing, down, around, bring it back up into there. Now, as I said, they don't have to be perfectly even, right, because his head could be turned or anything, so don't worry about that too much. So then inside, we have the white of his eye, just follow that sort of shape inside like that. And the same on this side. Okay. Right, so then his sort of eyes are kind of like three-dimensional, right? So say coming down from here, right? We've got this edge sort of line here like that. And then what we'll do is bring this down like so. And it's hard to see, but we'll just we'll bring it into the corner there. And then we go the same on this side. <coughs> like that. And then we'll just go around the bottom. back up into there somewhere. Now, to bring it here, will we? No, we'll go, I'll go like here, like this. Maybe another line just going that way. Yeah, that looks better. All right, we'll do the same thing here. So just to make those lens sort of eyes look a little bit more three-dimensional, that's all. Okay. Right, so he doesn't have any webbing on his head, which is much easier for us, right? But basically, you want the eyes to be sort of, say like, if his chin was here, okay? So we'll put his chin down here. Right? So the, the eyes are like more than halfway down. So like here to, say the chin to, say the middle of his eye, this eye line. So like here to here, we'll bring it up to the top of his head. We'll say here. So this center point is lower down than halfway, right? So here to here, we'll bring it to like there, 
but you got to go up a little bit more. So I'd say this is your halfway point, right? Just here. So like here to here is about the same as here to here. This and this are about the same. So there's your like center. Okay. So the main thing is like this point of his eyes is lower down than halfway. And once you get that, then you can go for his jaw. Right at the side. And then we're going to go around his head. Right? And this side, we're just going to go close to his eye. And around up to there. And on this side, we'll just go a bit further out from the eye. Around. So, right, so he has these black lines that come down from his eye here. <laughs> like that. And then there might be like some light lines for like for stitching or something coming down here. And coming down from his eye. And then something maybe going up the middle. Just to show that it is a mask. Okay. So then his collar, right? So his body's kind of turned, we're in three quarter. So the collar comes out from here, underneath his chin down, step in to here. I mean, so we're kind of off center a little bit. So it goes up, just the pose, dynamic sort of pose. It's good to learn how to draw different poses anyway. Right? And then the other side of the collar just comes out down there. And the other side comes out down to here. And then we have this white edge on this. So then we can see like some of his neck here, in here, and then like his neck muscle, like so. So we've got like this chest armor plate, right? So it like bumps out here, okay? And it'll sort of bump up and out there. And then this curves around his arm Right, like so, and then on the other side. Curves out here around his chest, sort of armor. Down like that. Right, so we've got like a big shoulder pad sticking out here. <coughs> and this goes out and down. Here, shoulder pad again. And we go, we're gonna put some of the shield in here so it won't go the whole way. <coughs> Excuse me. So the shield is like coming out around here. I'll draw it in now. So we just see the top of it. Make some of the weight. So red and white part. Now there's all details in here, okay? That's the main sort of shape. So these shoulder pads are in here. Okay. And we got like some some fabric lines just in here. Just for this kind of clothing. Right, so then all straps and buckles and everything inside here. So the star is like just underneath here. So we got like the Captain America star in the center of his chest, right? Triangle pointing up. The arms sort of come out there. 
and then this goes down. And then the legs spike out into the middle, down, back up. And then they have patterns and designs on this inside, extra lines. So, that, and then there's like a 3D sort of line down the middle of them. Like so. <laughs> right, so then legs and stuff that stick out from here, okay? <clears throat> so we go out, spike it up. Four on each side. Two sticking up, two sticking down. Okay, and you could add an extra sort of line coming down just to make it look a bit three-dimensional. Like so, then we do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now there's all armor plating and stuff inside here, right? So we've got like this circular line like so. And then this armor goes up and to there, and like so, to there. So you want it to sort of make it look sort of like metal sort of armor like there. And then these straps that come down across his shoulders just here. There's some extra lines inside. Maybe the same thing on this side, so like a big strap with a buckle or something coming across here. And some extra sort of lines in there. And we give this sort of edge lines and stuff. Right, so then down here, is, it's all broken up into kind of red, white, and blue, right? So we got like this sort of chest armor coming down that way. And then it goes diagonal. And we got the sort of bottom of the spider is kind of here as well. So we got like this little bit that sticks down. It's like the abdomen, you know? Sort of drawn in here.
and then more sort of black and kind of red, blue sort of shapes coming down here. And there's like some white stripes here. Some more on this side. There and then a red stripe there. And like put like a red stripe going this way. Another one going down here, breaking this up a little bit. And then there's like some sort of angles in there, and then his body will go like that way a little bit. And you could break this up into more black and white sort of shapes. Another lines inside. And then this is all broken up into different blue and white stripes and stuff here as well. that right and then an edge line on this and we break this up into blue and white stripes and then some more sort of sections broken up down here as well And if you want, you can add like textures, stuff to the shield, you know, scratches and dirt and stuff to his face if you want. But then you sort of color it, whatever way you want, really. Red, white, and blue mostly. There's a bit of black. But that's it. Captain Spider, I hope it's helpful. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Bye.